Believe in the heart, Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. Tuki. We believe in our hearts, na jafe. and then we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord. Then we are saved no, by faith na or through faith or by grace Obara. through faith. The topic is the covenant. So, and I'm telling you, we can break the covenant and also renew the covenant. We can be Christians and fall away from God. We can be Christians and fall from the grace of God. That is the main point for all this. Because some people say we can't fall away from salvation. You understand my point? The covenant is just by confessing and believing in Christ Jesus. That is how we make that covenant. Allowing him to be your personal Lord and Savior. Allowing him to be your Boss, I mean your leader, your Lord. He's the one guiding you, you don't guide yourself. He adds on so many scriptures and says to be spiritually minded is eternal life. But when you're carnally minded, it's death. So salvation comes after hearing the word. It comes after we build our faith in the word. And then we get saved. You can't be saved when you don't believe. And you can't believe before you hear the word. Amen. You can't make a covenant with someone you don't trust. Praise the name of the Lord. So, the parable of the sower says the sower went to sow seeds. Some fell by the roadside. Some fell on rocky ground. Others fell on thorny ground. Among thorns. And others fell on good soil. But if it were, but if there were maize seeds they were all maize seeds amen they were not different that some were beans some were ground nuts they were same seeds but the, 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 the only difference is they fell on different grounds are we together it is salvation. From this, I want us to understand clearly that Jesus is clear about his word. Only these selfish people who want to gain your money, who want to take advantage of you, teach otherwise. But Jesus, throughout all the scriptures, he says the same thing. I also realize that with all the parable Jesus gave, they look alike. Amen. They have something similar. They have the same goal. They are all driving us to Jesus and to eternity. The parable of the hidden treasure teaches us to hide our salvation deeper because the enemy can steal it. It is still the same, same, same thing like the parable of the soul. Because the seeds that fell on the roadside were stolen by the devil, the Bible says. The birds came and ate them away. And the Bible says that is the enemy. When, when you receive salvation on a shallow, on a shallow ground, or on, a hard, on a wayside, it cannot grow. Some of us receive salvation on that kind of ground. 
are still doubting God. The sea doesn't go deeper. It is just on the roadside. There are Christians we have in the church, but they are the roadside Christians. When the word comes, it doesn't go anywhere. They just hear the word and leave it there. James says if you hear, you are just a hearer of the word and not a doer. You deceive yourself. Amen. So if and if you say you're under grace, but you're not doing the things the grace of God and the word of God requires, you are deceiving yourself. So the parable of the sower shows us, shows us clearly. Okay, another parable. That parable of the ten virgins. It's also talking about salvation. Some are ready, some are not ready. There are so many Christians who walk anyhow. Like foolish. The Bible calls them the foolish what I like about these ten virgins, they are all what? They are all what? They are all what? Virgins. In Ephesians 5 verse 1 tells me, walk like the children of the light, like the children of God. Praise the name of the Lord. We must walk like the children of the light. Not like the children of the day. There are many scriptures that speak like that. But we have seen a lot of so-called grace Christians. When the world sees them, they can't accept God. They can't accept the gospel because they think we are the same. In, in the book of Romans chapter 2, the Bible says, you say you are a Jew and you walk according to the law of God. You who say don't steal, are you stealing? You who say don't fornicate, are you fornicating? So Paul was showing us that if we say this is wrong, we should do it first. But now many people don't want to believe because we walk according to our flesh. They're talking about the covenant. And specifically breaking the covenant. So, so that we know we, can, we need to repent. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because many people say we get repent once and forever. When we are receiving Jesus, that is the final repentance. Our past, sin, the present, and the future are forgiven. No matter what happens thereafter, everything is okay. But I am so against that because I know it's trampling and provoking and blasphemers to the name of the Lord. Because according to all these parables we've seen, we know that people can break the covenant of God. We know that people can trample against the blood of the covenant. We know that people can deny Jesus. Because Jesus says, those who deny me before men, you cannot deny a person you don't have. Do you understand what I mean? What I mean? So only Christian can deny Jews when they have it. I cannot deny my family when it's not my family. Are you getting what I mean? Are you getting what I mean? The word denying cannot deny a person when they have it. Are you getting what I mean? The word denying cannot appear unless you are attached to that family, to that thing. If you deny your identity, it means that is what you belong to, but you don't like it. Do you understand what I mean? So if you are a Christian, and then you deny Jesus, how do we deny Jesus? In Matthew chapter 7, in verse 21 to 24, to 23, the Bible says, not everybody who says, my Lord, my Lord, not everybody is under God, grace. Are we together? Not everybody under grace. Not everybody that has received salvation will be saved. Because many will come to me in that day and they say we have cast demons in your name. I've done all kinds of things. And I'll say to them away from me because you didn't do the will of my Father. You didn't follow the commandments of God. Are we together? So we are sure Jesus 
Jesus was not crazy. Jesus was not crazy. Yes, yes, and the Bible is not contradicting. Te, te, Only selfish te people te contradict with the Bible. Ba ta, ba ba Bible. Bible. So uh, that is what Joshua has said Chicho, to us now. Chicho, Joshua, cha gambi, kanu. By, we, by not following the Kata commandments of God. We know that Jesus says on the day of judgment, Christians that cast out demons, Christians under grace, will be denied to enter the kingdom of God. So if you are under a church that teaches you you are eternally secure, you are doomed. You are doomed. You must quit that church. It is a, a church of the devil. It is a church of sin. It strengthens the hearts of the weak to sin, sin more. It is dangerous to the governments of the world because it teaches lawlessness. You don't need to obey any commandment. You can fornicate the way you want because you're forgiven. You can steal because you're forgiven. You can can rape women because you're forgiven. That is why we've seen a lot of pastors with ten wives and they are forgiven. Stupid people. Repent. Uh, to him who knows what is right oh, yeah, and doesn't yo, do it, it to cha, him is so sin. Cha, 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 and the wages of sin is, hey. the wages of sin is, hey. it doesn't matter whether you're a Christian or not. Let me tell you what hurts me most. A brother finds you drunkard. An unbeliever. You are drunk. And he's also drunk. And you tell him, hey, for me, I'm heading to heaven. For you are going to hell. Because you are a drunkard man. You don't have a Jesus. <sighs> tell me what does it mean? To me, that is stupidity. You are drunk like me. You have ten wives, I have only one. I'm a Catholic with one wife. You are a Christian with ten wives. Including wives of 13 years old. And of 50 years old. Raping children. And you are saying you are heading to heaven because you believed in Jesus and for me I'm going to hell. If I'm that non-believer, I'll get and cut off your head. Because we are the same. What is the difference? Just believing in Jesus. What is the difference? We do not only believe in Jesus. John said the axe is on the root of the trees. And whatever tree now that does not bear fruit is going to be cut down and thrown into the fire. Are we together? So you don't just claim salvation, salvation, I feel so angry when people say they are believers and they are living like the devil. They are not living like the children of the light, like the Bible says. The parable of the sower, which we are finishing now. So what happened? The wayside seeds were stolen by the devil. Let me ask a question. All of you should answer me. What kind of seeds is the devil stealing? And who is he stealing it from? Yes, Jovi. The seed is salvation. Who is he stealing these seeds from? Joshua. The Christians. Very simple message. You don't need to pray. To understand this. It's very simple. But so why people make it too hard? And even change the scriptures. That they are saved forever. What kind of rubbish is that? Kasasiro Choyo. 
The Bible says Bible the gamba, devil did not come back to steal okuba, from who? Kuva kwani. From all people, but mainly who? Christians. Christians, because Christians are his enemies. The Christians are the best enemies of the devil. Do you understand what I mean? Because the devil already has another person in, the, in his wings, under his wings. He tells them whatever they want and they will do. That's what the Bible tells me. The Bible tells me in Ephesians that before we also walked like the world. So which means now we should be different Just like what the Bible tells me We should put on a new man Amen Our inner man should change We should wear a wedding gown A white gown The Bible says we should not Sport our gown When we sport them We will be cast in hell That's what the Bible tells so what are you saying that people say forever? You are lying brother. You are lying sister. Please come out of such churches. I know when I go on TV, I'm going to be headed by many, but I will stick to Jesus. Because the reason John the Baptist was beheaded, because he stuck to the church, and the Pharisees did not want it. Jesus was crucified because of the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the hypocrites. They don't want him to say the truth. Paul was beheaded for the Paulo same cause. Of speaking the truth that the world doesn't want to hear. Peter was crucified Peter because of the same thing. And many brothers, brothers were killed because of the cause of the gospel. For saying things that are not sweet to their ears. So today people are saying sweet things. You are safe forever. Even if you sin, you are safe forever. You can sin because you are safe forever. Be drunk, you are safe forever. Do whatever you want because you are safe forever. Liars! Liars! Come out of them. The Bible says in First Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians 6, from verse 14 to 19, the main verse, I will touch nothing unclean, and I will receive you. It is the Paul who wrote these words, quoting them from Old Testament. Which means he's fulfilling them. Touch nothing unclean and I will receive you. What is the opposite? When you touch something clean, he will receive you. When you touch not things that are unclean, he will deny you. He will not receive you. Simple. So Mr. Grace Teacher, Miss Grace Teacher, how about that scripture? How sweet? What do you have to say about it? You twister of the word of God. The Bible. So in Ezekiel, Chapter 16, I hope you read by yourself so that we can silence those liars who think they can sin and go to heaven without repentance because they are under grace, which is the famous gospel today. A man of God told me, Clapton, begin teaching things that sell. That gospel is not selling. I am not preaching gospel that sell. I'm preaching the gospel of Christ. Amen. I'm not preaching for money. I'm not preaching for congregation. I'm preaching for salvation. That people may repent and be saved. Amen. Remember the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 19, You are bought at a price. Separate your bodies from fornication. 
You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. But how many pastors are linking and sticking in fornication? Am I saying that we, uh, I, I mean, uh, that we are holy? No. Paul said, I am not preaching this because I'm already perfect. But I strive, I press on. I punish my body to receive the upward goal in Christ Jesus. How many people are willing to crucify their bodies for Christ? If you're not willing to crucify your body for Christ, then you're not willing to be saved. Tell your neighbor You're not willing to be saved if you're not willing to make a sacrifice for Christ. Because love is about sacrifice. What is the first commandment? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind. That is the first and greatest commandment. Do you know what it means? Can I interpret for you? To love the Lord God with the Lord your God with all your heart and mind. And soul, it means you are totally attached to Christ. No matter what comes, it doesn't change you. You are now identifying with Christ. You have denied everything for Christ. How many people are willing to deny everything for Christ? If you're not willing, the Bible says you can't be his disciple. <laughs> Those are his standards. And it's not about raising up your hand. Faith is about action. Some of you steal food during fasting. If you cannot even fast, how can you deny everything for Christ? That is why fasting is very crucial because it teaches us how to make sacrifice for God. Are we together? Are we together? So when you fast and pray, you are training yourself to love the Lord with all your heart and mind. It means you even deny food for the stomach. Yet the Bible says food was created for the stomach, which means food has to be with the stomach. They are friends. But you deny food because of Jesus. Somebody lift up your hands and say, Lord, give me divine hunger. I want to love you more. I want to be a sincere Christian. I want to follow you forever. In Jesus' name. Okay, let's read a few verses and finish. And of thy garment thou didst take, and decadest thy high places with diverse colors. And played the harlot thereupon. The like things shall not come, neither shall it be so. Thou hast also taken thy fair jewels of my gold and of my silver, which I had given thee, and madest to thyself images of men, and didst commit woldom with them, and tookest thy broidered, thy broidered garments, and coveredest them and thou hast set mine oil and mine incense before them my meat also which i gave thee fine flour and oil and honey wherewith i fed thee thou hast even set it before them for a sweet savour and that and thus it was says the lord moreover Thou hast taken thy sons and thy daughters, whom thou hast borne unto me, and these hast thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured. Is, the, is this of thy world a small matter? That thou hast slain my children and have delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them. I've never seen a scripture when God is... He's always been a very angry, but in this scripture, really, he speaks that detail. There are a lot of jealousy. I know what you're 
your mother denied you, your father denied you, like his right. Wari muruwa denga nzengo inabi hani yabi. You are sick, you had hani ya. Mfuru bambu nyukari. Mukama yeba ziwi. Nga mfuru machi. Mfuru nyu. Bogende manjo kufuru mfuru machi. Nse gwe mure abaka te gwe mwe wani sangwa musumba wa mwe. Mfuru nyu njerele. Your pastor. Nga ngenda kufa. I was going to die. Ebyo biebiru mamu kama. That's what had God. Pastor Wilson yeye gamba ngari kungudo. Pastor Wilson, he was on the street. Okuja kuanga biya imba aturi imba. Unless he's lying. Ya gamba nti yeye yari omana wa wakati. He said that he was between. Other other children died of HIV. Kada inayo na abalala katika Brian ine baga na abalala. Na yaga mbali yomu kubali matirida. Mukama yamu wanya siri mutambu yina. Kujia kuanga arimba. Nebu wa wata arimba. Yo yo katonda kwenye ogena ku. Akujia ku street. Akujia ku street. That's the God I'm talking about. He has healed you HIV. Katubu yu. No tu kano vayu. No tani kukufu kechi zi wena. And now you have become the problem to God. Aba sumba aba mumba huli deka tingaba kayanja. I've had many problems. Pastors like Pastor Kayanja were drinking. They talk about them. They told us. Now you have come. Now you have come a problem to God. Look at you. You God has picked you. You are set. You are prostitutes. You had nothing. Your mother denied you. Sister Priscilla, your dad has denied you and you don't know how your father looks like. And your mothers don't call you. They know your father. Now you have come a, a problem to God. Now you have, because you have a kid right now. You had jiggers in in the feet. They are like rhizomes. And now you are blaspheming the name of the Lord. You are very sick with different diseases. And the Lord has picked your body and he has healed you like me. I'm telling you, um, I was rubbish. Even right now, I'm still rubbish. When they tell me right now that Brother, you have proud. I go before the name of the Lord and I repent. I used to sing like this. I used to sing like that before. When I, Without Jesus, I am nothing. I'm one of those scriptures that Jesus says he has taken the foolishness of this world to ashamed the proud. The Amen. That's why God is wise than men. When he pick you, he pick these people of the universe and this who has degrees and this one who has hips and who have legs like Princess Diana and they become a problem in the church. They say when they are bullies, they used to be prostitutes. You have come out. Remember the Lord. The Lord has, the Lord has put blast on your cake. Now you are blaspheming the Lord. Even if you are not in our church, go and read Ezekiel. Ezekiel 16. You come and begin to, to, to pray about. 
I always say there is this whatever woman who sang. Which song did he sing? Did she sing? This Tasha Cobbs, the very famous song. You provide the fire. I provide the sacrifice. Wah, wah, wah. You Tasha Cobbs, I, wa I don't want to abuse you. Let me go you. on Facebook and I look there. I, I hope you can Facebook see me. Sister Tasha Cobbs, Tasha Cobbs, look at yourself. What you know, Are you beautiful? Look at your background. You are a black woman who God has blessed to be favored among your enemies who hate the white, who hate the black race. People invite you with white color and you sing to them. Who do you think you are? And then I hear you, you have gone and says, Mick Minaji Nain? has a good relationship with Nain God. A porn star. She paints herself with the color without any yes, clothes. And, and she performs and you say she has a good relationship with God. Tasha Cobbs, you need to repent, Cobbs, I hope someone can deliver this message to you, my sister. Come back to Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Some of us are not handsome. Look at me. Without Jesus. There is that song that says, Twandi badewa singa Chris to teaja. Twandi badewa fe. Where would we be? If Jesus did not come. I want to learn that song. Mukando kaimba very powerful song. It's supposed to be sung in <laughs> by born again Christians. Christ He has brought us from the Other people has brought them from the We have been prostitutes. He has healed us from HIV. And when you get money, you, walk, you sing like. So the Lord is reminding us. And in all this, thine abomination and thine world, thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth when thou wast naked and bare and wast polluted in thy blood. Tewasobola the other song that I sing is a song called Nembelangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangangang
We pray that you give us your grace and glory, oh my God, that we can shine for you, Lord. We don't want to trample against your grace underfoot, putting the grace of God under the, the uh, under our foot, oh Lord, and counting unholy thing, the blood of the covenant, as the Bible says. We will not count unholy thing, your blood. We will take salvation se seriously and personally. We want to thank you that you're cleansing us, oh God. We pray for our brothers that have fallen. We pray for brothers that have gone to those Katinaba, evil churches of Lord, that have Chitana, continued to be part of those evil churches. We pray that you forgive them, Lord.